So it's really good to see you all. Um, and it's uh, just gone eight, so we better start. Um, so this morning we're going to do a, a meditation called Metta Bhavana. And, and Metta means kindness, friendship, uh, acceptance, goodwill, uh, all those kind of things. Um, and Bhavana means cultivating. So it's cultivating uh, loving kindness or goodwill towards um, ourselves and other people normally. But today on a Wednesday, we do it just for ourselves. And you might think this is a bit selfish. Uh, uh, but actually it isn't. We have this English word selfish, which has its uses uh, when somebody is completely self-centered. But we do need to look after ourselves. If we don't look after ourselves, how on earth can we look after other people? How on earth can we love other people if we don't love ourselves? Um, so it's a very important, the first stage is always looking after ourselves. And um, to my mind, it's a very good practice to spend uh, uh, an, half an hour a week at least, possibly more, just looking at ourselves and just giving ourselves a, a sense of kindness and love and care for our poor selves who, you know, we go through so much, don't we, um, in our minds mostly. Um, but we're sometimes not very nice to ourselves uh, and, and sometimes we feel disgruntled and unhappy about who we are, how we look, um, the way we act sometimes, uh, the lack of certain um, abilities or um, qualities, all these things. Um, in our minds, we're constantly uh, with ourselves and assessing ourselves. So it's good to stop and just look at that. And that's what we're going to do this morning. And just try and have a sense of friendship towards um, ourselves and to have some care for ourselves maybe you do normally um, and if that's so that's great but maybe we can maybe we can just do a little bit more uh, so that's what we're going to do um, and I don't think I need to say anything else uh, so I think it would be good to begin and um, so this, as I say, this is a loving kindness meditation for those who've just joined, uh, but it's towards ourselves. We're gonna look at ourselves and look after ourselves this morning. Okay. So if you like to make sure you're comfortable, you could be do this lying on the bed, lying on the floor, sitting on the chair, sitting on the cushion, wherever's uh, most comfortable for you. And you can do it with your eyes closed or partly open. But the main thing is to be comfortable and relaxed. So we'll begin in the usual way by just arriving in the meditation. Taking stock of how we are right now. Not how we are when we woke up, or how we'd like to be, but how we actually are. Just being completely honest with ourselves. So how are we feeling mentally? We might be feeling clear-headed clear-minded or a bit foggy and that might be pleasant or unpleasant or maybe somewhere in between how are we emotionally happy sad, a bit anxious, or excited, 
or countless other things. Just noticing what that might be. Maybe just settled. Maybe not. And how are we physically? Might have aches and pains. We might have a kind of pain that's always with us. Or we might feel relaxed in the body. So wherever we are with all these three states, mentally, emotionally, and physically, uh, they may be pleasant or they may be unpleasant or they might be somewhere in between. But it doesn't really matter. All we're doing is noticing where we're starting from. And however we are, whether it's pleasant or unpleasant, it's okay. It's okay to be here. Wherever you are, mentally, emotionally and physically, it's absolutely all right. You don't have to be any different to how you are right now. So we'll begin just there by accepting ourselves as we are right now with a sense of kindness and friendship. Then noticing, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> noticing our body, the weight of our body, pressing down on whatever we're lying or sitting on. You can feel the weight of it. And just allowing whatever we're lying or sitting on to hold that weight. We don't need to do anything. We can just let go. Feeling the contact with the floor to our feet, or if we're lying down the whole of our back, or if we're kneeling or sitting cross-legged, we can feel it through our legs. And just feeling like we're in contact with the earth. Completely grounded. Completely stable. Supported by the earth. And moving up the body to the chest, noticing the breathing, the breath entering and leaving the body, the lungs expanding and contracting. And as they do so, pushing the rib cage outwards. Not making any effort to breathe in a certain way, just allowing the body to breathe as it wishes. And noticing what this feels like. Gentle, rhythmic movement of the breath. And now focusing our attention, if we can, on an area at the bottom of the ribcage, just behind 
bottom of the rib cage in the center is the sternum and just behind there is our heart center this is the place where we feel all positive emotion and just noticing as you breathe in particularly any warm sensation in this area it might be quite subtle or you might not be able to feel anything so you could try bringing to mind someone that you really love a person or a pet and just trying to have an image of them or a sense of them with you right now So don't worry if you can't feel any warmth and pleasant feelings in this area, the heart center. Just be open to them appearing. If you can feel them, just allowing them to grow. Just nurturing them allowing them to spread right through your whole being So now we're going to just take a little look at ourselves, at who we are. We have this precious human life. We're very fortunate to be here as human beings, living in reasonable conditions we have food we have enough to drink and eat we have a stable system to live in and it may not be perfect but we're pretty well off compared to the way we might live in if we were born in a different country if we were born as a different kind of being so we have much to be grateful for and we have so many sides to ourselves Our human life is very precious. It's like a beautiful jewel. And jewels are, have many facets, many sides. And we're like that. And our jewel is very shiny in places. And in other places it may not be so shiny. But we're a work in progress. We're in the process of our lives. We're in the process of becoming more polished, more beautiful every day. So first of all, having a sense of acceptance to all our different sides 
all the bits we like about ourselves and all the bits we don't. Just having a sense of goodwill to both kinds. to the strong bits and to the vulnerable bits, to the kind bits and the grumpy bits. To the happy bits and the sad bits, holding them all in our heart equally. Having a sense of love and care to the regretful bits, the grieving parts of ourselves and the critical parts. And all the different parts of ourselves, the parts that feel good, the parts that feel not so good. Just holding them all with a sense of kindness we're doing our best we're always doing our best and we may not be perfect but we are perfectly imperfect precious human being just doing the best to make their way through the path of life So in the second stage, can we turn our attention to the vulnerable side of ourselves, the side that we might not like very much, the side of ourselves that maybe creates some difficulties for us, the bits that we would like to be different. Can we be our own best friend to them? Can we be like a good friend looking after ourselves when we don't feel so good? When life gets us down? when we feel inadequate or uncertain or anxious can we be a real friend to ourselves when we need a friend Can we metaphorically put our arms around ourselves when we feel troubled? And love this being who might be upset or feel less than they want to feel. Can we wish ourselves well, just as a good friend would wish us well?
In the third part of this practice, we're going to take care of the frightened part of ourselves. The part that feels anxious and nervous and scared sometimes. We might see this part of ourselves as a small child. Our inner child who worries about doing the right thing, who worries about being good enough. Who's anxious about the way things might turn out and maybe feels insecure. Can we really turn towards this inner child and pay attention to it, just as we might a real child outside of us? If a small child came running to us, frightened and upset, what would we do? We would give it love and we would take care of it and reassure it. Can we try and do the same for our own inner child? To love this frightened, unsure part of ourselves. Pour our love upon it, hold it close, give it reassurance that everything is all right. And in the fourth stage, we bring to mind that part of us that is always criticizing, is always telling us that we could be better than we are. We could have done something better or just be better. And this inner critic needs love too. This inner critic is just trying to keep us safe in a way. Uh, might be going about it all the wrong way. It might be slightly deluded 
and unhelpful. But it is trying to keep us safe. It's trying to direct us in the world to make us better. And it's deluded because we don't need to be any better. It's mistaken is this inner critic. We're okay just as we are. So in a way, the inner critic is just like the small child again. It's feeling scared that we're not good enough. It's feeling anxious that we should be better. So whenever the inner critic appears, instead of pushing it away or wishing it wasn't there, can we turn towards, turn towards it and give this inner critic love, love and kindness and understanding. Our inner critic means well. Can we look after it? Can we reassure it and help it to feel safe? Can we let it know that we may not be perfect, but we're okay just as we are? And in the fifth and final stage, we're going to look at the whole of ourselves again. These, this multifaceted, precious jewel of life, of our special life. All the different bits, some that we like, some that we may not like, some that we may wish were different. And just remembering that we are a work in progress, constantly polishing the different facets of our jewel. Can we be patient with that? Can we be our own best friend, supporting ourselves as we go through life, as we deal with this work in progress. Can we be a parent to our inner child, looking after it, reassuring it, helping it to feel less frightened, Can
can we be kind and reassuring to our inner critic that simply wants us to be okay? Can we take care of the whole of ourselves? Give ourselves the kind of love that we would give to a small animal or a child or a good friend. Can we care for ourselves even though we're not perfect? But we are unique, we are special and we do deserve our own love. So maybe finally making a resolve to do this for ourselves as often as we can. in quiet moments and at times when life is difficult. Just loving ourselves. Just loving this precious being that is us. And in a few moments, I'm going to ring the bell to end the meditation. And as always, just taking your time, <clears throat> being gentle, opening your eyes when you're ready, and moving your body. I really look forward to Wednesdays and doing this um, particular meditation. Um, it helps, I find it really helpful um, and I hope you did as well. Um, and it is something to remember uh, to do. Um, you can do this meditation any time when you've a spare five minutes and uh, remembering to look after all the different parts of yourself. And, and to remember that we're okay, however difficult life is, we're fine, we're doing our best, we can only be where we are, and to be really kind about that.